Welcome to another episode of the Geotechnical Engineering Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Green, and in this episode, we're going to be exploring a crucial and ever-evolving field within our profession, and that being the role of the geotechnical engineer in environmental services. And in an era where environmental concerns are increasingly at the forefront, understanding the intersection of geotechnical engineering with environmental services is going to be even more important now than it ever has been. We'll delve into how our skills and knowledge as geotechnical engineers can play a vital role in creating a sustainable and an eco-friendly future. But before we get started, let's hear a word from our sponsor for today's episode. Before we dive in, we'd like to recognize our sponsor for this episode, PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE and PE exams the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE and PE exam prep. Now let's dive into today's episode. The role of the geotechnical engineer in environmental services is multifaceted. It's deeply impactful and it touches on various critical aspects of ecological stewardship and sustainability. And at the heart of the work lies a profound understanding of soil mechanics, earth structures, and ground properties. The knowledge is not just limited to the application and construction and infrastructure projects, but it also extends significantly into how we influence and how we interact with the environment that's all around us. Take, for example, our involvement in projects such as landfill design, shoreline protection, and ground remediation. In these areas, our expertise isn't just beneficial, but it's absolutely critical. I could think of countless projects where I was responsible for the geotechnical aspects of a project, but there was some aspect that tied in very closely to environmental remediation or environmental engineering as a whole. If you're looking at a land development site and you're doing a subsurface exploration and you encounter material that is impacted or contaminated, that's no longer just something for the geotechnical engineer. Now we have to make sure that we are talking to our environmental professionals to make sure that we're collaborating with them, we're following the right standards, the right safety protocols, and we're making sure that the end user, and of course the folks that are in the field administering the work or actually overseeing the operation, are doing so in a way that is safe. So hopefully in this episode, if you're not thinking this way, we'll be challenging you to think about things, not just as a geotech, but how do we work together with our environmental friends? So in the broader spectrum of environmental services, our role as geotechnical engineers encompasses a wide range of activities. This includes, but it's not limited to, land remediation, waste management, water conservation, and ecological restoration. And in each of these cases, each of these areas presents unique challenges, but also unique opportunities where our specialized skills can make a substantial difference. One, Landfill design and management. So, in the realm of waste management, particularly landfill design, our expertise is indeed crucial. We're responsible for ensuring that landfills are not only just structurally sound, but also that there is a minimized impact to the environment. This involves intricate planning of liner systems, leachate collection, and stability analyses to make sure that these structures don't fold down, right? and it, we don't create settlement disdifferential across the big parcel. And we also have to do these analyses to prevent soil and water contamination. Two, groundwater protection and soil remediation. Now, our work directly impacts groundwater control and soil health. Now, there are several techniques that could be used, such as soil stabilization, in-situ remediation, and barrier systems. Now, these will prevent contaminants from spreading and restore ecological balance to affected sites. Three, 
shoreline and erosion control. With rising concerns about climate change and sea level rise, our role in shoreline protection and erosion control is more critical now than it ever has been. We design structures that not only protect coastal areas, but also preserve natural habitats and biodiversity. Four, sustainable material use and life cycle analysis. Sustainability in geotechnical engineering is not just a trend, but it's also a necessity. We focus on the life cycle of materials used in construction, promoting recycled and eco-friendly materials, and developing innovative solutions that reduce the carbon footprint for our projects. Five, risk assessment and environmental impact analysis. So our skill in assessing geological risk is vital for environmental impact analysis. We identify potential environmental hazards associated with construction and infrastructure projects, and we propose strategies that mitigate those risks. So as we wrap up this episode, it's clear that the role of geotechnical engineering and environmental services is not just a responsibility, but it's also an opportunity, an opportunity to lead the way in sustainable practices, to innovate, and to ensure that our engineering solutions are in harmony with the environment that we all love and is all around us. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. We would love to hear your feedback, comments, and or questions. Please feel free to go to geotechnicalengineeringpodcast.com where you'll find a summary of the key points discussed in today's episode, as well as links to any of the resources, websites, or books mentioned during this episode. Until next time, I wish you the very best in all of your geotechnical engineering endeavors. Peace.